Civil Engineering Academy, helping you in your journey to pass the PE. All right, welcome to Civil Engineering Academy. Today we're solving a problem from transportation. The problem states the center line of the local horizontal alignment of a two-lane highway is a circular curve with a radius of 925 feet. The length of the curve is 700 feet. Various trees are located adjacent to the highway as shown. Assume a standard lane width of 12 feet. The safe design speed miles per hour based on adequate sight distance is most nearly what? So look at what we've been given. We're given a radius of 925 feet. We're given a length of 700 feet. Various trees. We've got a tree here, a tree here. Um, assume a standard lane width of 12 feet. So this, if this is 24, each of these lanes is 12 feet. So that's 12, and this is 12. The safe design speed based on adequate sight distance is most nearly what? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my civil engineering reference manual and chapter 78 dash. 10 has a uh, sight distance information in here and what we're going to have to use is a equation 78.44 is what I'm going to draw from and it talks about minimum horizontal curve length for stopping distances and in here it talks about the, the stopping sight distance and length along the center line of the inside lane of the curve are the same. So we were given a radius and that radius is from the center out to the center of what they gave us. So that's 925 feet. But in order to calculate the safe design speed based on sight distance, sight distance is based on the inside lane. So we actually have to figure out what the radius of this inside lane is. So we know this is 12 feet, so half of that is 6. So basically we just take 925, we'll call it a new radius, is 925 minus 6 feet. So that's 918. So that's our new radius that we're going to be using and uh, so with the new radius and this equation we can solve for a stopping sight distance and given that information we can then go to some tables and uh, figure out what our safe design speed is for this so if we were driving along this curve and we had an object somewhere over here. This is your line of sight. As soon as you pass that object. So the what they call is uh, the horizontal sight line offset or HSO is from the obstruction to the center of the lane. So we need that for this equation. 78.44 asks for what HSO is and that is basically 12 feet because we were given an offset of this inside tree of 12 feet plus 6 feet which is half the distance to this new radius so 6 feet so that equals 18 feet is our HSO so uh, equation 78.44 says that stopping sight distance equals R, which we're going to use the 919, divided by 28.65 times the arc sine of R, 919, minus HSO, which was 18, divided by R, 919. Okay, so what does that give me? Punch that in, I get 364.3. 364.3, and that is in feet. So what we need to do now is 
now that we know the stopping site distance that we calculated, we can use this value and use table. If you're using the Civil Engineering Reference Manual, Table 78.2, it's, uh, it's an AASHTO table. It's the minimum stopping site distances on level roadways. And over on the far right, there's stopping site distance. And for calculated, if you go down, the closest for 364 is actually listed as 359.8 feet. And if you follow that to the left, it lists a design speed of 45 miles per hour. So that would be the safe design speed. You don't want to round up. You're going to go down. So 45 miles per hour, this answer is A. So this is a good problem. They usually have something like this about stopping site distances on the exam. I hope this helped you out. Head on over to civilengineeringacademy.com for more tips and tricks related to the PE exam. Thanks, bye.